This is brushing up back with a uh, Magic the Gathering video vid. Um, blue white control. I want to turn it to white blue control and red. Starting off with <coughs> three walls woman. Just because I find four it might be too much of a dead draw. Three oblivion rings. Two of each art. Three um Joy Nowhere for creature control. <coughs> it helps. Two three four path to exile. Good for using on my own creatures if they're about to die and if they if I've got like nothing else to, to do with them, probably remove my pawns. But if I can't remove, remove my pawns, I'll re remove the walls and then all. I mean the uh wall bone. Since it's like it's gonna be kinda of useless if they're not using control. Or if they're using control but like no creatures. On Two, three. Uh, loot is something ascension. Just good against control decks because control decks are usually slow. And if they tap out their mana or don't have enough to whip out a um, a cancel or a counter spells, send that counter stuff, then I'll just get this on the board and use on second turn. I was told to only run two. Just because, like, the second one is always a dead draw. So I'd rather increase my chances of getting them, getting one on the board as soon as possible by having three. Even though that I'm not really going to do what the other guy said. But I might go down to, depending on what I get. One, Day of Judgment, blows up the board. And one, Wrath of God of the board. Getting into blue. One, two, thieving magpie. Uh, drawn power, four mana cost. One, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Two, Mind Springs for drawn power. One, two Laos Chronologists. Just because they give me the extra turns I need. Uh, this, just by getting the extra turns, has won me so many games. Like, uh, yesterday I got my, I got fifth place in the tournament. Two counter spells. Just because they're two mana costs and they counter any spell. They're better than cancel. One, two, three. Sprang Seas. Good against a multicolored deck. As everybody knows. Like, Jund. These have fucked over Jund so badly. So many times. That's why Jund did in the top 8. 1, 2, 3. Narcolepsy. Creature control. Keep them tapped. That's the last of the blue. Getting into the multicolored. 3 walls and all. Two swans of Bran, Bran all something, Bran R Gold, Swan of Bran Gold. Just because it cannot be damaged, and whoever damaged it draws cards. <coughs> uh, my opponent will be drawing cards with it. That's why I want to throw in the red, so I can draw cards from it by lightning bolting it, fireballing it, and whatnot. Getting to the lands. Two quicksand. Good against their 1-1 one, one tokens. 1, 2, 3 columns. Colonnade. Columns, colonnade. The man lands for attack. Offensive. Two Seji, Seji, Ray. No, I call them Seji Refuge, Refuge. For one life. One of these, Glacial Fortress, 
I want one more or three more of them, hopefully. If I can find someone to trade them, one of these just because it provides uh, red, uh, white, and blue. It provides green, but I don't need the green. Two, three. Arcane Asylum. Same thing. It provides blue, white, and black. I only use it for the uh, blue, white. So let's get this one out. Three of these. Play down, target creature, get you control gets protection from a color of your choice until that turn. Play down my swan so they I can attack with it and they can't block it. Four Halimar Depths for the beginning of the game control. Uh over my draw. Four planes. Four islands. That's the 63 card in the deck. The sideboard is one of these. Uh, destroy target enchantment like um, my opponent using blue white or a control deck with white in it. I'll destroy the blim ring. I'm thinking of running. Um, I think of using a few more of these if I can find them. One, two, three Andre songs. Good against a really fast creature deck. <coughs> and if the only damage I can do is just my creatures, it will also guarantee me to get my um, ascensions up. Encounters. <coughs> One, two, three smites for the walls. Destroy target blocked creature. And well, since the walls got doing damage, figured might as well throw in some. One. Uh, brave the elements for uh, just give you a part white creature you control protect from a dark color from a color for your choice. So they're like attacking with a blue card. I use my let's say it's an attack of like a 5 5. I use my or 10 10. I use my um, wall with an auto block instead of being killed, I use to block it. Or save for the last attack with the uh, on with the Angel Ascension. One, two Sphinx of Major Majors. Uh, drawing power and one one counters. They're not really a finisher. They're in the sideboard just because I didn't really know what else to throw in. I'll take them out if I can find more of them, or maybe one more of them. Okay, yeah, that's the white. Get into the blue. Uh, I forgot to say. One, two counter spells in case I need it. One spring seas. And two boom rage. Boom rage. Uh, return to our permit to the north hand. Good on a second turn. To uh, return to the land. And send them back one turn. Okay, I'm getting low on time here. Other card, I was thinking of throwing into the sideboard, which is already 15 cards, was Oust, and Sphinx of uh, jo Jor Jorish, Jorsham, just because it's the same mana cost. But I find them pretty okay-ish, haven't used them yet. Uh, I don't have Oust in there just because I need more of them, and I don't want my opponent to gain life. But if my creature about to die, I might play on myself. Wait. Sorcery. That's why it ain't here. It's a sorcery. Damn. Yeah. Okay.